In this second video, we will analyze different examples of the malware activities logged by Panda Adaptive Defense 360 on the Ether platform. The first one is a generic Trojan. This Trojan tries to pass itself off as a crack for the Beyond Compare software, but in reality it connects to multiple IP addresses, downloads data and runs several applications. Once run, it takes actions aimed at stealing data and harming the system. Now, let's take a look at CryptoWall A. This is a CryptoLocker variant that tries to enter the system via a legitimate program, Internet Browser, PowerShell, etc. Panda Adaptive Defense 360 prevents this ransomware from executing by continuously monitoring every program run on endpoints, even trusted programs that may become an entry point for malware. The next widget shows the programs classified as PUPs, or potentially unwanted programs. These are programs classified as spyware, hacking tools, toolbars, etc., which are detected by the protection in real time. The main harmful effects of PUPs are loss of computer and server performance, incompatibility with certain corporate programs, and bandwidth consumption. Let's see an example of this type of threat. Software Updater is a PUP that communicates with the different IP addresses in the United States for a period of five days. Next, let's take a look at exploit activity. This widget shows the exploits detected in the vulnerable processes run by users. When a vulnerable process receives inputs maliciously crafted by hackers, there can be an internal malfunction that allows the attacker to inject fragments of malicious code into the memory areas managed by the vulnerable process. This process then becomes compromised. The injected code can cause the compromised process to execute actions that it wasn't programmed for, and which compromise computer security. Panda Abdati Defense 360's anti-exploit protection detects all attempts to inject malicious code into the vulnerable processes run by users. To protect yourself from exploit attacks, it is essential to patch the vulnerabilities found in the compromised programs detected by the anti-exploit technology. For that reason, it is strongly recommended to have a tool capable of detecting and installing patches both for the operating system and for third-party software on your computers. Now we'll take a look at the widget Currently Blocked Programs Being Classified. This widget shows currently blocked applications in the process of classification. These applications are evaluated on our Big Data Analysis platform, capable of automatically classifying 99.98% of all applications leaving the rest to our experts in Panda Labs. All block programs can be unblocked through the message displayed when placing the mouse pointer on the information balloon displayed in the action section. If the blocked item is a .exe or .com file, unblocking it will allow the execution of both the program and all of its libraries on all computers, unless they are known threats. Therefore, we only need to create a single exclusion to allow a program and all its related components to run. In any event, Panda Adaptive Defense 360 will continue to monitor all processes, even excluded ones, in order to have all software it finds properly classified at all times. The section Programs allowed by the administrator displays all excluded programs. Be careful as it may contain items classified as malware or PUP. We scroll down the main dashboard to find a chart displaying the known threats detected by the antivirus. Also, under the security dashboard, we'll find two more dashboards with information about the status of our licenses, the website categories accessed by the users on the network, spam detections, etc. These sections are common to Panda Adaptive Defense 360 and Panda Endpoint Protection. Threats detected by the antivirus shows information about the malware detected by the antivirus and the antivirus protection modules included in Panda Adaptive Defense 360 device control, firewall, etc. Additionally, in section Content Filtering for Exchange Servers, we'll see the number of email messages blocked by the Content Filtering Protection for Exchange Servers. The Web Access and Spam dashboard shows charts displaying the website categories accessed from the computers on our network, as well as the spam messages detected by the Protection for Exchange Server.
the Licenses dashboard shows detailed information about the licenses of the purchased product. It indicates the number of used licenses, the computers without a license, license expiration dates, etc. The Executive Report dashboard is particularly useful as it provides key data to find out the security status of the organization. The contents of the Executive Reports can be customized, and they can be displayed on demand or is scheduled to be regularly sent to the email addresses of our choice. The My Lists section shows a series of predefined lists. These lists are very useful for the technical staff that needs to have in-depth knowledge of a specific incident. They provide essential information such as who did what, how, and when. Also, we can create and save custom lists. Let's see an example in which we'll be able to see the unmanaged computers discovered across the network. Finally, let's take a quick look at some general aspects of the dashboards. As we can see, we can display data from the last 24 hours, the last 7 days, the last month, and the last year. Watch our next video to learn more about Panda Adaptive Defense 360 on Ether or contact us for further information.